Top 10 Backyard Bird Identification. This is a bird identification video targeted at beginning bird watchers or people who have recently installed a bird feeding station in their yard and they'd like to be able to identify some common species they are likely to attract. Number one, Northern Cardinal, easily recognized as a bright red bird with a crest. The females are a little drab. They've got kind of a brownish back. The males and the females have a bright red beak. The juveniles have a black beak. Man, that thing is stout. And let me tell you, they can bite hard. As a bird bender, I've been bitten by a cardinal and it's no fun. They do have a black face and they range all over the eastern U.S. down into Mexico. Eight and three quarters inches long with a wingspan of 12 inches. So it's a medium sized bird. Number two, the blue jay. Brilliant blue ornate bird blue all over the back with some white markings on the wings a black necklace pale whitish underneath this guy uh, is all over the eastern u.s even into parts of southern canada and he's 11 inches long with a 16 inch wingspan pretty bird i understand our friends from across the pond over in europe like to come to the u.s to see our blue jays that's one of the birds they want to see first and most Number three, American Goldfinch. This lemon yellow, tiny little acrobat is adored by American bird watchers. Lots of people put out special feeders to attract them to their yard. They like the thistle seed feeders. It's tiny, uh, coming in at five inches long with a nine inch wingspan. Brilliant yellow, black forehead, dark wings with white, prominent white wing bars. It's all over the U.S., some parts of southern Canada and northeast Mexico. A delight to see anytime, but they are drab in the fall and winter plumage. Easy to tell the male and the female apart due to the bright plumage of the male in spring and summer. Both sexes are much duller in the fall and winter. Number four, red-bellied woodpecker. Nine and a quarter inch long bird with a 16 inch wingspan. He's all over the eastern U.S. He's got a bright red nape, often mistakenly called the red headed woodpecker because the red on the nape extends over the head into the crown. He's got a barred upper side and wings, black and white, very ornate. There is a red patch on the belly. These guys hug the tree, so it's difficult to see sometimes, most times. They do have a red patch on their belly. That's how they get their name, the red-bellied woodpecker. This bird has a heavy undulation when it flies. That means it dips. It's a constant up and down motion as it flies forward. It's dipping up and down. Number five, the Carolina chickadee. Very closely related to the black-capped chickadee. Difficult to determine these two apart sometimes. And in some areas, I understand there's hybridization so they don't even try to separate them they just call them chickadees when they're out there doing some field bird watching the carolina chickadee is most often identified by the amount of white on the secondary wing feathers when they're folded the black capped chickadee having more white on the edges of the secondary wing feathers the carolina chickadee having more gray on the edges of the secondary wing feathers not an easy call, even for an experienced bird watcher. That's a good one to study. But the Carolina chickadee has a black crown, black nape of the neck. Then on the sides of that nape, the Carolina chickadee has a grayish cheek patch. And it kind of bleeds into a white face. They have a black bib, light underneath, mostly white, mostly gray on the upper side. So it's a striking bird. Gray back, black head, black bib, white face pretty little bird. Also very vocal and very common at backyard feeders. It's only four and three quarters inches long, seven and a half inch wingspan. It's all over the eastern U.S. Number six, tuft titmouse. It has a crest, mostly gray upper, a little bit of black on the face, mostly light under. 
It's a six and a half inch long bird, 9.75 inches for a wingspan. It does have a pale face and orange flanks. If you get a good look at the side of that bird, it's got a splash of color down the flanks. It's pretty cool. And it lives all over the Eastern US and Mexico. Often seen with the Carolina chickadee in these parts. Those guys seem to be allies sharing the same habitat, eating the same food. Morning dove coming in at number seven, 12 inches long, 18 inch wingspan all over the U.S., parts of Southern Canada and Mexico. The wings whistle when this bird takes off. That's a pretty cool trait. It has a long pointed tail, brownish gray all over, black spots on the wings, really cool call. We write that with a C, so it's coo, coo, coo. Number eight, Carolina Wren, a 5.5 inch long bird with a 7.5 inch wingspan, but with a huge personality. This little Carolina Wren lives in the eastern U.S., parts of northeast Mexico. It's got a brightish red, buffy red back, a paler tan, light brown chest. It's got a real prominent eye line, a supercilium, they call that in the field guides. Very prominent, very light, running right through that reddish brown upper. And this guy has a call that's often recited with a mnemonic that is tea kettle. So it says tea kettle, tea kettle, tea kettle. Eastern bluebird number nine, a seven inch long bird with a 13 inch wingspan. The Eastern bluebird not too long ago was on the endangered species list Proud to say my state, Tennessee, made a major contribution in bringing this bird back from the edge of extinction by starting statewide programs and societies that included setting out nest boxes. And now it is off the endangered species list and occurs all over the eastern U.S., southern Canada, parts of Mexico. It's a beautiful bird. Brilliant blue back. The male has a bright orange throat, sides, and neck. The female's drabber. White maybe on the throat. Juveniles definitely drab also with the white around the throat. But a great bird to have in your yard. They love to eat insects. They'll come to a feeder and take mealworms. Beautiful bird. Number 10, the northern mockingbird and the state bird of Tennessee. 10 inches long, 14-inch wingspan. Has large white wing patches on a mostly gray body. Also has white outer tail feathers, and that tail is long and noticeable, especially when taking off or landing. It occurs throughout most of the U.S. and Mexico, has a thin, dark eye line, mimics other bird sounds, usually repeating them three consecutive times. Whatever the call that it's mimicking, it will do it three times in a row. Many times I've been fooled while birding by ear, thinking I'm hearing another bird only to spot a mockingbird singing like that other bird. Well, there's the top 10 backyard bird identification tips. I hope you learned something. I did while I was researching this, getting my notes together to share with you. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you know someone else who likes this type of content, share it across your social media. If you enjoy nature, If it's a learning experience that relaxes you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are sure to do more content like this here on the Bird Garden YouTube channel. If you've got a question about bird identification, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll answer those as soon as possible. 